I mean, really, tell me, why do we require a trip to Mount Everest in order to be able to perceive one moment of reality? I mean, I mean, is Mount Everest more real than New York? I mean, isn't New York real? I mean, you see, I think if you could become fully aware of what existed in the cigar store next door to this restaurant, I think it would just blow your brains out. I mean, I mean, isn't there just as much reality to be perceived in the cigar store as there is on Mount Everest? I mean, what do you think? You see, I think that not only is there nothing more real about Mount Everest, I think there's nothing that different in a certain way. I mean, because reality is, is uniform in a way, so that if, you're, if your perceptions are, I mean, if your own mechanism is, is operating correctly, it would become irrelevant to go to Mount Everest and, and sort of absurd because, I mean, it just, I mean, I mean, of course, on some level, I mean, obviously, it's very different from a cigar store on 7th Avenue. Well, but I mean, well, well, I agree with you, Wally, but the problem is that people can't see the cigar store now. I mean, things don't affect people the way they used to. I mean, it may very well be that 10 years from now, people will pay $10,000 in cash to be castrated just in order to be affected by something. Well, why? Why do you think that is? I mean, why is that? I mean, is it just because people are, are lazy today or they're bored? I mean, are we just like bored, spoiled children who've just been lying in the bathtub all day, just playing with their plastic duck, and now they're just thinking, well, what can I do? <coughs> okay, yes, we are bored. We're all bored now. But has it ever occurred to you, Wally, that the process that creates this boredom that we see in the world now may very well be a self-perpetuating, unconscious form of brainwashing created by a world totalitarian government based on money, and that all of this is much more dangerous than one thinks? And it's not just a question of individual survival, Wally, but that somebody who's bored is asleep, and somebody who's asleep will not say no?